Hey guys, it's Justine, and I'm here with the videos that I like to make the most. I have another book haul, kind of unboxing, but I've actually already unboxed them because I have zero patience, and I love books. One that I got um, was a Goodreads First Reads book, and it's Blood Wine by John Moss, and it's a Quinn and Morgan mystery, and I really like this cover. It reminded me of True Blood. And this one, obviously, it's a mystery, so I'll just kind of read you a little bit. Um, the summer before 9-11, Toronto homicide detective Miranda Quinn wakes up to find her lover dead beside her, yet no memory of going to bed with him. Horrified by the results of the forensic investigation, the normally feisty Miranda moves through events in a daze while her partner, Detective David Morgan, offers support. So that's just a little bit of it. Um, the only issue is that I think that this is, like, the fourth book, but I'm just going to... Maybe check out some reviews of the other books and then maybe just give it a try without reading the other ones because I find like sometimes in detective-y ones you don't really have to read them all. Then on to the other books. Yay! To the book haul portion of this video. Which book hauls are my favorite and I have no self-control and you guys know that and yeah. But I have good reasons because when books are on sale I just can't help myself. So this one was on sale for like $30 off the regular price and I had to buy it and it is The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. Now I have The Giver assigned edition like the special edition hardbacks but I don't have any of the other ones and I kind of wanted them all to match so eventually I'll probably get those ones but I couldn't pass this one up. Look how pretty it is and it has red pages and that's my favorite but this book's freaking huge. It's like compared to my head it's like half the size of my head. So it's ginormous. And The Giver wasn't even that long. So I know it's four books in there, but it's like, it feels like it's giant for just being four books. And then on chapters, they do like this thing where if you pre-order, it's like 50% off or like 30% off, depending on the books. So I had to do it, but this one was already out. So... I don't know if I pre-ordered it and then it came out. I can't remember. But I got Rumble by Ellen Hopkins. And I love Ellen Hopkins. I've read all of her young adult books. The only ones I haven't read are Triangles. And I can't remember her other adult one. And this one, like, she kind of is, like, very controversial because she pushes, like, the boundaries on, like, religion. And lots of people are not impressed with, like, what she writes about religion. Because I feel like she brings things to the surface that some people don't don't want known and this one is going to be like a super controversial book because again it's about religion it's about like losing your faith and oh I can't wait and she like writes in verse and they're so amazing and even though these books are like huge you can read them literally in like a couple hours because they're so good and they just like grab onto you and you have to read them till they're done so really excited and this cover look how pretty super colorful And then this book was 50% off and I had to get it and I already thought that I had like the normal edition of this book but do you think I can find it? No. So I just was like whatever I'll suck it up and buy another one and then if I find that one I just have the normal edition and the special edition. I got Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and this is the collector's edition so it has the fan art and the, it, the book's really pretty too. It's plain, but it's pretty. And this side. Beautiful. And I'm doing like a book challenge on Goodreads where people pick the books for you. So that's on the list. So I will hopefully read it before the end of October sometime. And then lastly, I just saw some other people talking about this book. And it's a graphic novel. And I needed it in my life. Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Look at how pretty this book is. Look at how pretty this book is. And, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, the black is, like, shiny and it feels good, like, different. And then the trees are, like, all feely different. And this part's all, like, smooth. And then I can feel the words. And let's just look at some of these pictures. I think this is supposed to be, like, a scary book, but I can't remember. And plus, lots of them, like, they're in color. So that's fun. And that's all I got from Chapters. And then I went on Book Outlet again. 
And I didn't think that I got that many books, but apparently I did. Because this is what my box looks like. Ugh. And I could barely get it out of the post office, but we're just gonna roll with it. Because I just need these books in my life and I can't help it. Oh my god, this one I'm so excited for because I didn't even know this book existed and then I saw it on Book Outlet, but I actually like bought the more expensive version because it said may come with or without a dust jacket, but then it doesn't even come with a dust jacket, so I was kicking myself in the butt. So if you guys want this book, get the one, the scratch and dent copy because it doesn't have a dust jacket. But I got The Beatrice Letters by Lemony Snicket. And this book is really cool. I already opened it and looked at it. And it's like set up like a file folder kind of. And there's like a big old map in here. Or it's not really a map. It's like a poster. Cool. And then this poster. Cool. And then there's like the book. And it looks like this. And like this. And there's just like... It's really cool because there's like poppy out things. Like these all pop out and do things but I don't know what because I haven't done it yet or like all kinds of fun stuff it reminds me of um if you guys read the book there's like Kathy's key Kathy's ring and the other one I can't remember I don't remember who they're by but they have all kinds of like things in the pages and they're really cool so that's what it reminds me of and then I saw this book at like the bookstore for full price and I was like, well, I don't really want it that much for full price, but it was on book outlets. So then I got it cause it was cheap. It's the Divergent Companion um, by Lois H. Grish. And I guess um, she does like a bunch of the companions. I think she did a Hunger Games one too, which I paid full price for. So that'll be fun to read. And I like getting background. I need background. And then I've been like seeing this book every time I go on Book Outlet, but I'm like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. But then I saw someone else haul it and I can't remember who now. And then I wanted it. And it's 52 Reasons to Hate My Father by Jessica Brody. And I just hauled Unremembered in my last book haul. I guess it's about like a girl who's been like a trust fund baby. She's spoiled. Then her dad takes away her trust fund. And then she has to do like 52 things her father makes her do before she can get it back I think is what happens so it looks really cute and I love this cover there's like another cover too but I like this one better and then in my last haul I hauled emerald green and I thought I had sapphire blue because I read ruby red and I didn't so I got sapphire blue by Kirsten Gear, and I want to read it because I really liked um, ruby red And then I was excited to see this book on there. I have book one. I got it um, at like a convention that I was at in February. This is the second one, Twisted by K.A. Robinson. She's, um... come here. <laughs> so I just love these covers. I haven't read them yet. or I haven't read the first one yet, but I'm excited because I guess they're kind of like a darker, I'm thinking they're new adult. So that'll be fun when I get to those, because now I got two of them. Then I couldn't believe that these books were on there, so I grabbed them. They're really cheap. Um, I got The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines. And these ones, I know they're not in order, or they're not like the first one or whatever. Um, While It Lasts by Abby Glines. And Just For Now by Abby Glines. So I'm missing a few, but hopefully they'll end up on there eventually and then I can get them all. And then I grabbed this one because I have the first book and this one was cheap, so I grabbed it. Um, the Witch is Back, and it's the second one in the Life's a Witch series by Brittany Gragotelis. I don't know. And I think they made it into a show. But I haven't seen the show yet, so I don't know what happened. Maybe it didn't do very good. 
And then, because I wanted some more graphic novels, I got Take What You Can Carry by Kevin C. Pyle. And I had this in my cart before and I took it out, but then I decided to get it. Um, it's like a boy in China and a boy nowadays and... Sorry, not in China. A boy in Japan and a boy nowadays. And the boy in Japan has to go to reloca relocation camps after Pearl Harbor. Yeah, so, I don't know, it just seems cool. And it's neat because, like, the back in the day is brown and the now, the modern time is blue. Then I got another graphic novel series, well, duology, because I've been seeing it all over the place. And when I went to buy it, they didn't have the first book, so I waited and I got the box set of Boxers and Saints by Jean Loon Yang. So one side and the other side, and they look so pretty, and I'm excited to read those. And it's about, um, Almost kind of like the one I was just talking about. It's like two different lives and the Boxer Rebellion, which I never heard about before in my life. So this will be entertaining. Plus, I'll actually learn something. And then these books I saw on someone else's channel and they hauled them. And then I can't believe they're on Book Outlet, but I only... I'm missing one of them because they didn't have it, but I got the Complete Collection Volume 1 of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And it has The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and The Marvelous Land of Oz and Ozma of Oz. Love it. Then I have the Complete Collection Volume 2. It has Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, The Road to Oz, and The Emerald City of Oz by the same author. Like, these covers are gorgeous. And then I have the fourth one. They didn't have the third one, so i got to wait around for it. But it is Rinkitink in Oz, The Lost Princess of Oz, and The Tin Woodman of Oz. And this one was hardcover, and it was actually cheaper. So that was different. Not that I'm complaining. And then another unfinished series, because I just got the ones that they had, and I actually have, like, a box set from back in the day. Like, it was my mom's, too, but these ones look cool. Um, they are full-color collector's editions of some books by Laura Ingalls Wilder. So I got Farmer Boy, except for this one I'm super mad about, because look at this. This book is upside down. So... I contacted Book Outlet and I have to see if the other ones are like that or what's going to happen because I don't, if I have to have it, I guess, but maybe a refund? I don't know. Because that's kind of annoying. And then I got On the Banks of Plum Creek, which is the fourth book. Farmer Boy's the second book. By the Shores of Silver Lake, um, which is the fifth book. And I don't know, did I show you guys? So at each chapter thing, the drawings are in color instead of just the normal black and white. And The Long Winter, which is the sixth book. Little Town on the Prairie, which is the seventh book. And These Happy Golden Years, which is the eighth book. And I've read all of these like a long time ago, but I wanted my own pretty ones. And then, <laughs> because graphic novels are awesome and now they're coming up with like classics in graphic novel versions, I want them. And I got Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Oh, and this is the second one. So I'll have to get the first one, I guess. And they're colored too. And it's tiny, so that'll be an easy read. And then only two more. Because um, I love E.C. Andrews, even though now it's not her writing, but... I still love the stories. I got, I think this is a newer one, um, The Unwelcome Child in hardcover. And this one, um, 
this girl, I think her mom had her out of wedlock, and then she was, like, brought up thinking that she was filled with sin and she had no soul and all this stuff, and then she goes and lives with her grandparents, and then she sees a brother and a sister. I don't know if they were getting it on or what happened, but then, yeah, so on and so forth, and then the story happens. So, I'm excited to read it because that's the kind of weird shit that I like to read about. That's why I love V.C. Andrews. If you haven't read any of her books, you need to because they're like incest, killing, rape, all kinds of fun stuff. And then, oops, I lied to you guys. And then I got Unremembered in this book haul by Jessica Brody, which I've been, wa I've like had it in my cart like a bajillion times and I keep taking it out, but there, now I have it. And I have to hurry because I think it's going to rain. So that's all for my book haul. Thank you guys for watching. And I ordered more books, so I'll probably have another one. And I'll try to get more reviews and stuff posted for you guys. Um, and yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books. If you like them, if you don't like them. And all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys later. Bye!